Hey everybody, this is George Costanza, and this is a review of solving uh, systems of linear equations. So, uh, in my book, it's sections uh, 7.2 to 7.5. Go ahead and copy these board problems, these uh, board problem 62 down, classwork quiz 62, and then just solve each system whichever method you want to, and then pause it right here. Go ahead and spend probably 10 minutes or so, maybe 15, on these. And uh, so there's the answers. You can hear my dog whining in the background. Uh, my wife's outside and he's whining for him outside. Okay, so uh, this is uh, just a review of solving systems of equations. Let's solve the first uh, using the substitution method. So go ahead and, and there's number one. I'm going to go kind of fast. Uh, so we're going to substitute uh, 2x plus 6 in for the y on the second equation. All right, and then uh, you're going to subtract 6 minus 3 to get plus 3. Okay, and then I'm going to subtract 2x and get negative x equals 3, so x equals negative 3, and it goes back up in there, and then you plug negative 3 up in there, and you get uh, negative 6 plus 6, which is 0, so the answer is uh, negative 3, 0. Okay, let's try another one, substitution method. This time I'm going to substitute uh, the x into the other equation, and so you're going to distribute that 2 through, and then 4y minus y is uh, uh, 3y minus 10, then plus 10 to both sides, and so you get 21, so 3 goes into 21 7 times, and then plug it back up in there, and you get x equals 9, so 9 comma 7. Okay, let's try another one. Uh, so I'm going to substitute that in for the y in the top equation, and when I do that, 2x minus 2x cancels, I get 5 equals negative 3, 5 doesn't equal negative 3, so that's when it's no solution. Those are just parallel lines, but if we graph those, they'd graph parallel lines. They wouldn't intersect, so there wouldn't be any solution. Okay, solve using the elimination method. All right. Okay, here I'm going to go ahead. These are ready to go ahead and add because i got a plus y and a minus y right there, so I'm going to add those two equations together. So uh, negative 2x plus x is negative x, and then 6 plus negative 2 is 4. And then so if negative x equals 4, x equals negative 4. And I'm going to substitute that back into the bottom equation, put in negative 4 right there, and just watch out for the negatives, you guys. I'm going to add 4 to both sides, and negative 2 plus 4 is not 6, it's 2, you guys. Um, so you get uh, negative 4, negative 2, because I still have the negative in front of the y. Negative y equals 2, so y equals negative 2. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, here, I'm going to take that bottom equation and multiply it by negative 5. So I can get a negative 10x right there, but look what happens. I get a negative 5y also when I slide that top equation over and then add them together. I get 0 equals 0. Well, that's true, you guys. If 0 equals 0, so that's when you say there are infinitely many solutions. All right? Okay, so there's the homework. Go ahead and pause it right there and copy down these problems. And then I'll show you the answers here on the next slide. Here are the answers uh, right there. And pause it right here and then copy those down and uh, this will be the end of the video.